Jane from MatchesFashion.com and today I'm joined by Tatiana and Dana from the Mazingo Sisters. Um, you guys are in London for part of our Vacation Studio events. Um, I know you had something yesterday in one of our stores, in our library store. What were you doing? What was the event about? Um, the event was uh, sort of to introduce our brand to the customers. Yeah. Of the of of that shop in the um, the library road store. Yeah. And um, yeah, yeah it, it was it was fun. We had sip Moroccan mint tea and yeah, had lots yeah. of little snacks. And it was <laughs> nice to meet, you know, shoppers from the neighborhood. Okay. Um, you know, because we had actually never done an event like that in partnership with um, one of our wholesale stockists. Okay, yeah. We usually host our own pop ups yeah. or our trunk shows yeah, or events. Yeah. So it was fun to get to you know meet Matches's customers and yeah. you know see what they've been shopping from our collection online yeah, uh, and get to chat with them a little bit about their summer plans. Really nice. Um, and obviously you've got um, the collection um, down in the Marlborough store today. Yes. Um, some of the bags are in front of us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do you want to tell me a little bit about kind of, I guess your design inspiration, how it all started? Because you guys met in New York, is that right? Yeah, we, we met, met in London. London like, oh, okay, did you advise? We met in London about, um, I would say, maybe 13 years ago. We were both studying here. Okay. Uh, and then we were living in New York at the same time, and we were sort of ch chatting about our plans. Um, you know, Tatiana was finishing uh, this work project that she was working on at the time, and I was I was finishing up my, my master's degree, and we kind of realized we had similar ideas about projects that we wanted to work on after so we decided to merge the two ideas and um, you know start a website that would basically be uh, curated of pieces that are handmade by artisans mm -hmm. in different communities okay. so we kind of let that idea you know basically um, incubate for about two years and then we finally launched in 2011 here in London. Okay. And um, we had done, we had traveled, you know, before that to, to different countries to try to, you know, find the best artisans for mm -hmm. a particular craft, whether yeah. it be, uh, you know, weaving or embroidery or um, stitching. And the, the idea is really that everything is entirely made by hand from mm -hmm. start to finish and we only use natural fibers. Yeah. So um, we, we are currently working with artisans in over 16 different countries. So, so for instance, these bags are made for us in Colombia. They're actually, the, the bag itself is quite a traditional design that's woven by one particular tribe in Colombia, but the pom-poms um, were sort of our idea. Okay. And it's like an inter-tribal collaboration that has sort of never happened before because yeah. the pom-poms are woven by one and the, the bags are woven by the other. And then the other the other bag is made in India and then it matches is also um, selling our Sicilian baskets, okay. which seem to be very popular yeah, for, for summer. <laughs> and also some of our ready-to-wear pieces, mm -hmm. like our dresses from Hungary and velvets from Morocco, like like the jacket yeah, that the Diana's wearing. Yeah, the is so popular, the velvet caftans. Yeah. Just buying it. Mm -hmm. And so you started with bags and then went no, into the... We, or we started with uh, a bit of everything and actually a lot of the pieces that we started with we are still selling today because it's just you know they're like staples yeah. and people keep on wanting to to get more uh you know either the same one or in a different color or yeah. a different version so they've all become like signature pieces exactly. exactly yeah and you know a lot of it's most of them like dan explained you know these bags uh it was our our you know we asked to put the pom-poms on them but Actually, most of these pieces are not really our designs. They're, they're just the typical uh, work that the artisans make in these countries, yeah. in all the different countries that we yeah, work with. Yeah, it's very local. So we're just you know sourcing a lot of the time yeah. and giving a little bit of specifications to colors or yeah. materials or things like that. But it's it's really the work of the artisans most yeah, of the time. Yeah, what an amazing, you must be meeting amazing people. And yeah. Obviously traveling to kind of incredible mm -hmm. places. Do you spend a lot of time on the airplane? <laughs> we don't travel so much anymore, anymore. Actually, because you know we both have children. Okay. Um, I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old, and Dana has a two-year-old. Oh. So okay, so you're yeah. busy. We're busy. <laughs> and and uh, before that, we did you know a lot a few uh, fun trips, sort of longer trips. Yes, yeah, sourcing ideas yeah. and meeting people and kind of 
deciding who to work with and that exactly. kind of thing. Exactly, meeting artisans and then going back to cultivate the relationship with yeah, them, with so them nice. again as well. And then we were also traveling um, a lot to curate pop-ups because we, we curated mm -hmm. traveling pop-ups because we wanted to have pop-ups in different cities just as the same way as our clothes came from different localities, the pop-ups would sort of make people in different places, um, you know, become aware of the brand and also be able to shop it. Yeah. Because a, a lot of our pieces are really great when you see them in person as well. Our main, our main storefront is online yeah. and obviously through other retailers, but when you get to you know, see and feel the workmanship in person, it, um, it changes a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And such an interesting story mm -hmm. and kind of background to hear about as well. Um, what do you have a particular bag that you always take on holiday? I know you're both wearing them today. But <laughs> do you yeah. have a like? The, do you take the bigger one on holiday or? Any? Um, yeah, I take. I usually take the bigger one on holiday if it's um, basically that's my plane bag. Okay. So what goes in that bag is my laptop, like yeah. all my toiletries, and then like a scarf and everything else that I'm going to need for the plane. Yeah. And then once I'm there, then these mm. uh, the pom-pom mochilas because they pack super flat and yeah. they're extremely light. So in the day, they actually, you know, they quite you could fit a surprising amount in there. Yeah. So I actually couldn't even take it to the beach. I'll fit a sarong in there okay. and you know creams and that type of thing. And then in the evening, I just pull the drawstring and it becomes kind so of a smaller, smaller pouch yeah, for an evening bag. So and then nice. our Sicilian <laughs> baskets go in the suitcase. People always ask me this question: How do you pack the Sicilian basket? You can either take it on the plane, yeah, or you can put it in the suitcase and pack, and pack all your clothes inside. inside. Yeah. Basically, like a, a neat pile of folded clothes, so yeah. it's stacked perfectly in the suitcase, <laughs> and then it sits upright. Okay, so it's a bag with inside a bag. Yes, yeah, <laughs> so basically. It's a bag inside a bag and then when you when you unpack it you just have to make sure you ruffle the pom poms in case they get a bit squashy. <laughs> and the ones in these shapes, we actually have several different versions of right. them uh, from uh, you know different tribes. Uh, so we have the wool version which is uh, woven by the Arawaka tribe. So that's yeah. you know the winter equivalent of this one that's a little bit more summery although we yeah. we use this one as well yeah it's in, true. in winter it's true when you well i guess it. that's what's nice that it doesn't feel exclusively like yeah. you can only you know wear your product or take it on holiday that that's actually true. it works all year yeah. round exactly yeah. and and in terms of the clothes that you take do you have any kind of essentials that you well, will never definitely the kaftan yeah. Um, yeah they're great for summer you can you know Put them on first thing in the morning and even in the evening with a pair of nice earrings and mm -hmm. and uh, uh, pretty sandals or something and and uh, apart from that what else the scarves yeah the are are, are uh, shawls from cashmere mm -hmm. which uh, are great all year round as yeah. well and these bags I would say these as bags, well. Yeah. And the Hungarian things, things actually. Well, basically, we live in the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you if you kind of opened the ice suitcase, it would just you know be, be primarily um, um, doing the system for the better yeah, basics like yeah. denim shorts or yeah, uh, that type of thing. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, nice. so, so do you feel like you are kind of designing for yourselves sometimes or for your friends? Yeah, we're, not, we're not really designing. We're actually sourcing, it's like ordering, ordering things that we like, and then our friends also. And the right. things that we have designed is things that we've seen a lack of, for instance, mm. like our the jasmine long dresses that were uh, that are on matches, mm. the embroidered Hungarian ones. Mm. Those are you know are not a, tra a shape that is you know traditionally done in Hungary yeah. at all. But we designed them because we we love that kaftan shape anyway, and the embroidery that's usually on our Hungarian blouses we would have loved to see on a kaftan. So okay. that kind of comes through. Just the need, what we are, what we need, or you know, things that gaps in gaps in our wardrobe, let's say, yeah. um, and, and that's how we work with the artists, and we work with their existing skill. You know, if they're an amazing embroiderer, that could you do this type of embroidery on this fabric, and could you do it with a sort of this blank? And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but um, but that's really who we're designing for. Yeah. That's why you know, when we launched, we didn't really know if people were going to love what we were doing. It was just kind of our you taste. Loved and, it, yeah. yeah, we were like, okay, what, what, are, we, are we going a bit crazy with this? Let's do this, yeah. let's do that. And we, <laughs> we had, had no more, idea. We had no idea. Um, you know, even yeah. the orders, we didn't know, you know, if we should order 500 pieces or 50 yeah, pieces yeah. or five pieces. It was... But everybody loves them. They're such a like, happy. They're like, they're very kind of happy and pieces. And if you are wearing them through the winter, you just have a smile on your face. Right. You know, I don't know. Yeah. That's how I feel about yeah, it. Yeah, we, we, we both love colour and it's, it's 
kind of a natural part of of, of, our, of our daily lives. So um, you know, it, it, it does make you happy, I guess, especially yeah. you know, living in London, living in LA, London. <laughs> and when you were kind of you know starting to think about the artisans and sourcing them, was there a particular trip that kind of sticks out in your mind where you kind of found? We had, we already knew different things that we right. wanted to carry before we even, you know, started. started. Yeah. But the first trip that we did together, which was before we officially launched the brand, uh, we, we went to South America. So we went to Brazil and then we went to the north of Argentina together and to Peru yeah. and then came back to Brazil for Carnival. Um, yeah. And that was a fun trip. That was a super yeah. fun trip. And that was the, you know, uh, the beginning really of the, the, the adventure because yeah. we were, also we didn't know what to expect. You know, we went to Peru because we had done lots of desktop based research and discovered that there was a fair trade cooperative that did amazing work and brought together weavers from nine different communities. But we didn't know exactly if we were, they were going to have pieces that, you know, aesthetically were, yeah, were something that we were looking yeah. for. So it was it was a real adventure. And then um, and then after that, we did trips to, you know, Morocco and mm -hmm. India together. Uh, and Hungary um, and Venice, uh, so uh, yeah, just we there are def there are definitely trips that stick out in your yeah, mind now. It's been quite, back. it's been quite an adventure. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, thank you for coming to London thank today. <laughs> it's lovely to hear about the brand. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. Having us.